Let's talk about netting escrows when you refinance. So if somebody has an escrow account and they're going to refinance, netting escrows is a possibility. If somebody does not, if you do not have an escrow account, th this video is not relevant to you. Watch one of our other videos about something else and give us some love. But the reality is if you don't have an escrow account, you can stop and quit watching this video because it doesn't matter. Netting escrows is not applicable to you. Let's assume you do have a current escrow account. And let's assume you do want to refinance. Let's talk about what netting escrows is, but know this, it is a very, very small percentage of times that netting escrow actually occurs. So if you don't care, uh, I'm not saying I agree or disagree with it. I just say it's not done very often. There's reasons, and I'll explain those here in a minute. But just realize if you're like, yeah, I'm good, do you stop the video too? Well, let's talk about what netting escrows is. To understand what it is, let me give you a quick overview. And I know there's a video we've already made about just what happens to an escrow account when you refinance in general. I'll make sure that link's there. Watch that till you understand. But what I'm going to do is just hit the high levels real quick. When you have an escrow account and you refinance, that money comes back to you, okay? 30 days after closing-ish, right? I don't know if it's, it depends on the service. Or it could be 15 days, could be 45, could be 60. I don't know. But eventually the money comes back to you when you refinance in normal, air quotes, normal refinances. What netting escrows does is netting escrows says, hey, instead of me you know, the homeowner getting this refund, why don't we take that what would be refund, apply it to my current mortgage, don't give me the refund, and then let me roll in the new cost of a new escrow account on top of that. And that's called netting escrows. So let me say that again. Hey, I'm the homeowner. I don't need you to send me the money. Don't worry about it. I don't want that refund. Instead, why don't we take that money that's there in the piggy bank and just use it to pay down the mortgage balance so that I'll never touch it. I'll never see it. I'll never get it. The mortgage balance is now down and lower. And instead, now when I set up a new escrow account for this new mortgage, or if you don't, that's fine too. But in this example, let's say they're going to set one up, roll that into the new loan balance and it makes it a similar type loan amount when you're done. And you're like, oh, that sounds like a really good idea. And that's cool. Yeah, here's why that's rare. A mortgage company, let's say there's mortgage company X. Okay, mortgage company X is the servicer. They own the mortgage. They have it. You're somebody, in this case, Joe Homeowner, is paying his, his mortgages to, to company X. Well, if Joe's about to refinance... If he's going to refinance with the mortgage mark team, because he's a smart guy and he knows that mortgage mark team is going to take great care of him, he's going to refinance with us, the mortgage mark team. In order for the netting escrows to work, here's what would have to happen. Joe needs to call mortgage company X. Or not, actually, he doesn't even need to call him. Joe's going to basically assign when he gets the refund. So we're going to close on his loan and his old loan, which had an escrow account. He gets refunded that money. Mortgage Mark team in our company needs to then trust Joe that he's going to take this check for whatever the amount is, seven grand, I don't whatever the big number is. It could be much bigger than that if it's a big house. But he's going to take the seven grand check and then just because he's a good dude and he should, he's supposed to, he will then send the seven grand check to us after closing. We've already closed Joe's new refi. That's why he got the refund to, to begin with. And he's going, to re he's going to send that money so we can apply it towards his balance. Well, we've already applied it or just balance for our closing. So the reason why that doesn't really happen, and as much as we love you and we trust you and we like you and we, we want to do business with you, mortgage companies don't trust the consumer to just hand over, especially in a timely fashion, all that money. And we also don't trust the other mortgage company that they're going to do it that quick. So we've closed on a loan and now a loan is sitting on our books before we can sell it to Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, Ginnie Mae, FHA, VA, whatever, right? So we got to wait for a long time for other mortgage company X to refund Joe homeowner the money. And then hopefully Joe's really prompt and honest and sends that money over to us so then we can finish out whatever we're going to be doing. That's not a realistic real life scenario. It very, I don't know that I've, I've seen that in my you know, two decades of, of lending. That's not something I've, I've heard of uh, maybe once. I'm not saying ever because my memory's you know only so good. But that's why netting escrows typically does not happen. So now someone might say, well, hey, I'll just call my current mortgage servicer, in this case, mortgage company X, 
And we service loans too. So you can call the mortgage mark team if we service your mortgage. But if we don't, let's say Joe homeowner is going to call company X. Company X, well, they're not as concerned because company X now, they already have the mortgage. And if they do the new mortgage there, it's just a transferring of internally within their department. So they can net escrows. The reason why that's not always done and, and, and preferred, uh, typically mortgage servicers, not always, because as I just mentioned, you know, our company at this moment in time, we do service mortgages. I don't know when you're watching this video, but we have for a long time and we expect to in the future. But all that's to say, if they service it and they net the escrows, that's fine. But I, I would say the general whole, my personal opinion is that a lot of the mortgage servicing companies, they don't do a great job on creating new loans. A lot of times they're just mortgage servicers and that's all they do. Uh, or maybe that's their main primary source of income. So you don't always get the best service, the best programs, the best rates, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It's hard to get that anywhere, even with us, right? And always, you know, that's, you should never say never, never say always. Uh, but at the end of the day, most refinances occur without netting escrows. But I want you to know what they are, just in case you have those, you have a question. But basically it just says, hey, here's my loan balance is here. And instead of issuing me a refund and then getting the new loan and do whatever I do with you know, rolling stuff in, net it out so that when we add the new escrow account, it ends up with the same loan balance or comparable to it. So that's what netting escrows is. I know it's a lot. This probably is gonna get like a total of seven views over the next 10 years. Uh, but if you do care about netting escrows, that at least hopefully gives you an outline and an explanation. And as always, if you got questions, reach out to us. We are happy to answer questions, tell you whether it's possible with the loan we have or something you're already doing. And uh, just in general, as, as we always tell you, when you think mortgage, think Mark.